Welcome to another Smart Money Concepts video. Being rich doesn't solely come from being well-informed and well-researched. Truthfully, I can give you thousands of books about wealth building, but if you don't have this simple attitude, then there's no guarantee that you will be rich. But what is the simple ingredient for true financial success? Well, it is patience. And in order to apply this virtue, you have to effectively utilize time. Patience and time go hand in hand, and their effectiveness lies in the magic of compound interest. Warren Buffett's fortune, all $117 billion of it, is one of the pieces of evidence that this is true. He stated that compound interest is an investor's best friend because it develops quicker than usual simple interest. Why? Because compound interest earns returns both from your initial investment or principal as well as from the interest that it has earned. So you're earning interest on principal plus interest on interest. So the longer you invest or save your money, the higher the interest it will have. Compound interest creates a snowball effect, and the best way to maximize it is to start investing in a vehicle that utilizes it as early as possible. So in this video, I'll share with you the basics of compound interest as well as some compound interest investments you can make. Before that, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more Smart Money Concepts videos. Compound interest. Compound interest is the interest earned from the initial principal amount and the interest accumulated from it over time. To better understand it, compound interest is basically interest on interest. If you compare it with just the simple interest, compound interest makes returns grow faster because the latter is dependent only on the principal amount and not on the interest it has. Listen, compound interest increases substantially and not linearly. Actually, there are different ways to compound an interest. It can be done continuously, daily, monthly, or even annually. Just remember that the returns you'll get depend on the number of compounding periods that your money has. For instance, say you have $1,000 in your account with a 5% interest rate yearly. That simple interest rate can give an additional $50 to your savings, making it $1,050 at the end of the year. So in your case, let's say you invested for 10 years with the same interest rate at 5%, which is compounding daily, this will give you a total accrued amount of $1,648.65. Are you getting confused? Well, don't worry because I'll provide you with a formula to calculate compound interest later on. I have a tip for you. Take advantage of this while you are young because when you start early, you'll feel the more positive effects of compound interest as your savings or investments mature longer. This is very favorable for almost everyone, especially if you're an investor and depositor. The thing about compound interest is it grows continuously, so it's perfect for those who plan to invest or save long term. Calculating compound interest. To better understand how to compute it, you have to know these certain things. Principal amount. This is the starting money that you've invested or saved. In our example earlier, this is the $1,000 you place in your bank account. Interest. This is the interest rate that your bank has allocated to your principal amount. So if you have a high interest rate, chances are you'll earn more money. This is a 5% that we've included in our example. Savings or investment period. How long do you intend to have that money in your account? In our example earlier, we wanted to save money for 10 years. Compounding period. This is a bit confusing, I know. To better understand it, this answers the question of how often your interest rate is compounding as designated by the bank. It can be yearly, monthly, or just like in our case, daily, or all in all, 365 days. These are all necessary to understand, so you'll understand just how much it can ramp up your savings. So the formula for this is A equals P multiplied by 1 plus R over N raised to the power of N times T. In our example, P is the principal amount or $1,000. R is the annual interest rate or 5%. Convert it to a decimal number and you'll have 0.05. N is the compounding period, which in our case is daily or 365 days. T is the time you'll save it. So in our provided example, we opted to keep it for 10 years. A represents the accrued or accumulated amount. So A equals $1,000 multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.05 divided by 365 raised to the power of 365 times 10. We'll then compute the numbers in the parentheses first, so this will make our solution look like this. A equals 1000 multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.0001369863013698636 raised to the power of 3650. 
And for that, I urge you to use a calculator because this is quite complex to solve manually. This should give you the answer of A equals $1,648.06. To be honest, if you're not that much of a math geek like me and you find this hard to calculate or think that it's really complicated, don't worry. There are tons of compounding interest calculators online to help you solve your math problem. Want to know how to be rich through compound interest? We're here to help. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified whenever Smart Money Concepts post a new video. Compound interest investments. So you've decided that you want to multiply your money through compound interest. Well, I have good news for you. There are various types of compound interest investments. They are either in a bank or assets in the market. Number one, real estate. Compounding entails reinvesting your money again so it will gain more returns over time. And this specifically complements real estate investments. Here, investors reinvest their earnings from one of the real estate properties into their other owned properties. And as with other compound interest investment, you have to be patient and wait for it so you'll feel and see its effects on your income. It's actually okay to begin with the smaller property first. There are many small units or rentals where you can start to put your money. From that, fix them and rent them out. Remember, being a landlord and renting out space is considered one of the most lucrative ways to earn passive income. I have a tip for you. You have to remind yourself that you need to reinvest your rental income so you'll earn more money from compounding. This works for so many that this might work for you as well. Pretend that you haven't earned anything from your rental so that your earnings from this can go straight into your reinvestments. Number two, high interest savings accounts. This is the easiest way to earn interest on your interest. Opening a high yield savings account can do wonders for your money. Just think. Here, your saved money has a high simple interest rate already, and it has a chance to grow even more, thanks to the compound interest that your interest earned. And right now, this is one of the best things to invest in because this is actually low risk. And it's such a liquid investment because it's cash. So if you ever need it, you can simply withdraw it. But of course, you need to know that there are certain fees that come with opening high yield savings accounts like monthly fees and maintenance fees. There are several banks offering this, so choose the bank with the best rates and policies that are aligned with your financial plans. Before you go out and look for a bank that offers high interest, don't forget to hit that subscribe button first and the notification bell to get notified whenever Smart Money Concepts post a new video. Number three, certificates of deposit. A certificate of deposit is a kind of savings account that requires a standard amount of money to be held by the bank in a fixed period of time. It gives you limitations and restrictions on your invested money, but it has higher interest rates than a regular savings account. CDs usually pay compound interest. They are compounded either daily or monthly, so it's a surefire way to boost your savings. But you have to remember that you can't move or withdraw your money until your account matures. So it's best if you set aside money solely for this. Have another bank account that lets you move your money when you need and intend to. You might recall that we've addressed why the wealthy avoid CDs and it's because of low liquidity, meaning they cannot touch this money and therefore it is not available to them or said another way, liquid for them to make other purchases or investments. Wealthy people can't stand when they don't have access to or control over their money. Number four, real estate investment trusts or REITs. A real estate investment trust is a company that pools real estate investment from various investors, giving them a chance to put money into real estate without buying an actual property. This is best for those who want to diversify their portfolios without having to manage or finance real estate properties such as apartments, shopping malls, hotels, and residential and commercial buildings. Dividends from REITs have a huge tendency to increase the amount when it is reinvested because REITs frequently raise their share prices more than the actual stock market. REITs also give out about 90% of their income to their investors through dividends, so the best way to maximize the advantages of compound interest is to reinvest these dividends. But you have to be careful, as REITs pose risk, unlike savings. Their interest rates are not as stable, so they tend to rise and fall often. Number 5. Dividend stocks. Dividend stocks are one of the best ways to earn through compounding. Assets here can just keep on growing and growing, especially when they're reinvested. If you want to battle inflation, then investing in dividend stocks should surely be your choice. Did you know that there is a stock group dubbed as dividend aristocrats? 
This is a group of about 65 S&P 500 companies and firms that have raised their share of dividends for 25 years or more in a row. So if you're new to investing, try to research more about this because this has a potential to help you build your wealth. To take advantage of compound interest, you have to know that time is the ultimate foundation for this. The earlier you invest, the longer your money can grow and the more your money will become. Also, you have to keep an eye on the rates of compounding as this can dictate how much your money will multiply. Did you have thoughts about compound interest? Have you tried it? How much did you earn from it? Share it with us. For more videos, just click the like and subscribe buttons now to make sure that you don't miss our next video.